Oh, we are back with Today of Food, and we are back with the one, the only Bobby Flay. And this morning, Bobby's brought us a, this hot menu item straight from his new restaurant, Brasserie B. It's at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. Good morning to you. One of our favorite chefs on the show. Always happy to have you. Thank you. But you started a bit of a debate on the Internet. <laughs> you, 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 and we got to talk about it before we dig into this recipe. It's caused quite a stir in kitchens everywhere. Take a look. I think there's going to be a little bit of chatter about this because, like, if you ask most chefs, they want to eat, like, uh, they, they'll tell you that they want, like, rare and medium rare steaks and burgers. I, I don't. I love my burgers to be medium. Same thing on, like, a, on, on steaks. Like, if you don't cook it and the, and, the, and, the, and the beef itself is, like, too rare, it's, like, hard to chew. Bobby Flay. I mean, you, there are a lot of people were stunned. Well, to hear you say, you know, stunned. Let me tell you something, Craig. But I believe that um, people don't really want to eat medium rare steak. They really want it to be medium, and their burgers too. And let me tell you why: the fat has to melt. Okay. If the fat doesn't melt, there's no, there's not as, as much flavor, and it's not as tender. You want it. You want the fat to begin to melt. You still want it to be sort of, you know, you yeah. know, pink in, in, in the middle. Uh, I don't want you to overcook it. Okay. But I just want I want to get it to the point where I think medium is actually a better temperature than medium rare. And I will tell you that a lot oh. of my chef, a lot of my chef friends they might not admit it yeah. on the internet or on the Today Show. Yeah. But they they feel the same way. Trust Bobby Flay speaks truth. What's I think you're right. right. Okay. How do you feel yeah. about it? I feel like I have to say uh -huh. medium rare because people, people give me the stink you. eye yep. if you don't. Mm -hmm. But exactly. yeah, I actually don't like a bloody steak. That's okay. <laughs> when I order a, when I order a steak or a burger yeah. in a restaurant, and I always say and I say medium, they're like, "Are you sure?" I'm yeah. like, "Yeah, yeah medium." I want it medium. I, I, I find it to be more satisfying. Okay. All right. Well, let's, let's, let's cook this medium ribeye. All right. So we have a, be a beautiful ribeye here. So we're going to make a spice rub here with some paprika, some cumin, some coriander, and uh, a little chili powder. Okay. And, of course, mm. a little salt and pepper. You want to mix this up? Yes, sir. Right? I got you. I got you. And this is this is like a classic spice rub. I mean, if you want to add some other ingredients that you have on your shelf, that's totally fine. Okay. And then what I do is I just take the, I take the spice rub and I put it on one side of my steak. Why just one side? Because I still want to taste the beef okay. right but i want to i want to create i want to create flavor and also it's going to help to form a crust when i put it into a hot pan i use i love to use a cast iron pan for this mm. the the um the spice rub will obviously give it tons of flavor but it's going to become part of the steak and give it that nice crust on the outside you also use avocado oil i do i use avocado. Wow. well i want i want a lighter oil to cook with so like a, a canola oil has been one of the things that most people have been using from what I'm told, I, I don't know this for a fact, but avocado is a, a better oil for you. Okay. Yeah. All right. God, we're learning so much this morning. Here we go. All right. So we're gonna make we're gonna make a glaze. So now I, you know I can't leave well enough alone. I want to bring some extra flavor to this. So rub and glaze. Rub and a glaze. So this is a Korean red pepper place called Kojijang, which I do not pronounce correctly, but it is what it is. <laughs> and so it's it's a it's a fermented red pepper paste, and it's a very very. What did you just throw in there? Okay. This is some rice wine vinegar. Okay. Some honey. Okay. And then we have a little bit of orange. juice. Juice, a little, little some, acid there, a little bit of soy, okay. and then some yuzu, which is a, uh, a an Asian uh, citrus. Okay. And so we're just going to mix this up. Flavor. It's a lot of flavor, but this has ton. Kocha Jang is is like one of the hottest ingredients in in America right now across the country. Why is that? Because it has tons of flavor and it's delicious. It's, okay. a, it's a fermented Korean red pepper, so it's like it's spicy. It's got that 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 sort of umami flavor to it. It's so good. It's so good, and how, it makes everything taste good. How long do you typically cook your your, your steak on one well, side? Well, if you notice, I haven't touched it. You have not. Okay, and this is what I, you know, I always say that there's two kinds of guys in the world, guys that can grill and guys that think they can grill. That makes every guy in the world. And guys that think they can grill are out there with their tongs and they're flipping it. Right. Flipping yeah. That's a mistake. That's funny. Exactly. You want to leave it alone. We can we can get a cocktail, we can make a glaze, we can do other things. Yeah. We want the surface area to do its job. We want the pan to do its job. Let, okay. it, let it keep cooking. Leave it alone. All right. Now, you tasted this butter as, right before that we came on. That compound butter right? is oh, amazing. So we have some, some chipotle, which is smoked jalapeno, some butter. We have some fresh garlic. That's a lot a of garlic. Bit, a, well, I'm not, I'm not going to use it all. Okay. A little bit of lime juice. And then uh, you can use parsley or cilantro. It's up to you. And, of course, always season with salt and pepper, no matter what you're cooking. Okay. Very, very important. Tell we'll just, um, um, and when you make this compound butter, you, you, it sits overnight? Uh, it doesn't have to. You just want to make sure that, you know, you, you kind of get it all together okay. and, you know, and you can, you can hold it. Okay, here's our steak, okay? So you can see it has a really beautiful crust on the outside. We're going to take that glaze that we made, and we're just going to slather the glaze on here. Don't forget, this is a thick meat. steak. 
Everybody That's two inches thick. All, everybody in the studio has been literally hanging out in the kitchen in the back, oh, yeah. so good. putting in their uh, pleas for some steak at the end of, <laughs> at the, end of the uh, segment. And then a little bit of, of the chili butter. So you know, glazed warm. in butter. Glazed in butter. And then you, you kind of just let the, let the butter melt. Wow. And kind of, and you, have, you have all the Less. juices, and that's it. Now, that's take two. let's talk about these these fries, Bobby. Okay. Killer. We, so at Brasserie B, we make French, we make our own French fries from scratch. Oh. Um, it's but it's but it's a two day process. Oh. Two days. It's wow. a two day process. You have to blanch them first, which means you cook them at a lower temperature first. First, we soak them. We cut them into pota into, into fries. Okay. And then we soak them in water overnight to get the starch out. Jeez. Okay. Shake them off. And then we, we, we cook them at the first time at 300 degrees at a lower temperature and just softens them. Okay. But it doesn't brown them. And then when you come into the restaurant and say, hey, Bobby, can I get a side of uh, French fries? Yeah. We turn the heat up to 375 and then we crisp them. And that's wow. what we do here. Wow. So these are blanched that's, already. That's why they're so good. And that, yeah. that, that's wow. the only way you can make a, a fr classic fr a French fry. Al, Al knows oil, all about What this. kind of oil are you using there? Uh, this is either canola oil or avocado oil, safflower oil, something that's a, that, that can really take high temperatures, not olive oil. Yeah. Not, not olive oil. But you're all about process, Bobby. This is why we love you. Mike, what's the verdict? Oh, it was I'm, unbelievable. We're over here making noises. Mm, yeah. mm. Are we into medium steaks or you want them cooked less? No, we, medium. we medium. agree. Okay. I, oh, see, I, I'm I getting medium. a lot of... I'm getting a lot of support yeah, on this, I, yeah. and I don't like to get controversial online because it drives you know it drives everybody crazy. But Bobby, there's a couple right. of things that I feel strong about. Bobby, That's thank you for this recipe and more. You know where to go today.com/food. Just ahead, third hour, fourth hour. Elizabeth Hurley and her son after local news. <laughs> <So good. laughs>